Now, it's stuff like this that I'm about to tell y'all that makes me the way that I am. I've seen the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows, and this is definitely one of those low moments. Not because I did anything illegal at all, but because I just existed at the wrong place at the wrong time. Spoiler alert, you're black. To anybody watching this, I don't want you to feel bad at all. This is just a rite of passage for most of us blacks out there. The way I look at it is like, you gotta be fucked around by the police or like followed around in the store at least one time. You know, it builds character development. Welcome to the Captain's Chronicles, ladies and gentlemen. Relax, get some snacks. Cause today I'm gonna detail you the story of how I was technically arrested for no reason by the police. <laughs> But first, a message from our sponsors, Raid Shadow Legends. Now, for those who don't know, Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play mobile game available for Android, iOS, and Windows devices. It's got a lot of bosses, champions, and things to collect. And one of the features I want to tell you about is the Doom Tower. Think of it as like a giant prison, and it's our job to go in there and violate as much of the inmates as possible. Okay, that came out a bit aggressive. I don't know who wrote- Hey, who wrote that down? Now, regular floors in the Doom Tower are pretty easy to get through. You just need a solid squad with you. But it's the bosses that are the real problem. Like this guy right here. The Scarab King. Bro, look like a whole dentist. The only way to really beat him is to reduce his max HP. And for that, you're gonna need to make sure that you bring specialists. So bring the right people. Not to mention, Raid right now is running an amazing trick-or-treat promotion where you can win a bunch of in-game and real-life prizes, including $1,000 Amazon gift cards and legendary Halloween champions. And the best part about it is it's free. All you need is your Raid ID. This special event only runs from October 15th to November 5th, though, so make sure you act fast. Just like a plan B. Don't leave it to the last second. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and download Raid for free today. And in doing so, you'll receive a bunch of unique bonuses, all worth $30 in total. We're talking a free champion, Recto's Draft, 100k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and an ancient shard. Rewards will be available here and only for new players for the next 30 days, so make sure you act fast. Once again, thank you so much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Now back to my online degeneracy. Take it away. She caked up, bro. She got all this cake. I'm finna get a cavity. Like, she's so caked up, it's not even her birthday. I don't know why. Oh, shit, you're back. Ah! So this story takes place back in 2019, the year I did my first hairline reveal. Me and my friend are sitting there playing GTA 5. We're in the middle of a heist where there's a bunch of cops just, like, chasing us. He's like, how dumb do you have to be to get into a situation where you somehow get five stars? I'm like, yeah, bro. You know, that's, that's messed up. Little did I know that my demise was near. Then one of our friends... We'll call him Anthony. Just bust in the room randomly. He's like, bro, there's this crazy party that my friend is throwing. We should all go. I'm like, nigga, can you not see we in the middle of watching some shit? This is a sacred moment. What the fuck do you want? He's like, I want you to come to this party with me. I'm like, I want you to get your bitch ass out of here. Like we in the middle of something. Get, get out. The thing with this nigga Anthony though, is he knows exactly what to say to pique my interest. He's like, I don't know if you know this, but there's going to be some hoes there. I'm like, hoes? As in plural, he's like all types of hoes. So now I'm interested, okay? Because y'all know how I feel about hoes. I cannot live without them. I'm like, so where is this party at? Is it here? He's like, oh, they're going to be having the party down at this house in Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill is not the hood. Quite the contrary, actually. It's got a lot of country clubs, golf courses, unseasoned casseroles for dinner. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. It's the rich, white place okay it's where the whites are at now in the back of my mind i was sitting there thinking to myself i've never been here before i don't even know if my kind is welcome here but the thought of all of this ass just being in this one centralized area completely blindsided me. so i'm like all right bro i'll be there you mind if i call up a couple of my friends to like tag along with me he's like ah yeah bro no problem you know the more the better i must have called at least six niggas all of them were down to go and then as soon as i said richmond hill they somehow came up with some excuse. These niggas came up with the most ridiculous excuses. One nigga was like, oh yeah, you know, it's too far. Like, I, I can't, like, I don't got the gas money for that. Another nigga was like, oh yeah, you know, my boss just actually just randomly called me up to take the shit. So like, I, I just can't go. The last nigga was like, get this. Oh, I actually broke my legs today. So like, I just cannot even walk at all, bro. Like, I'm sorry. Making it seem like he's some type of paraplegic or some shit. This should have been red flags from the jump to not go ahead and go to this place. But because I am the way I am, I just ignored them. And I decided I was gonna go to this foreign land by myself. You cannot give me any advice. So the party starts at about nine o'clock. It's like 7.30, I'm about getting ready to go to this thing, but I'm running late. So I don't have time to pick out proper clothes. I kind of just wear whatever is clean. I ended up going to this party wearing all black that night. Now, if you're a black person, you know 
that that is not good that is a no-no you don't do that especially when you're going to the caucasian part of town but at the time i had this mindset i was like what's the worst that could go wrong pretty much everything so i take the train there i'm making my way to this place you ever get that feeling that everybody is just looking at you when you're not looking that's what was happening while i was taking the train there bro they was looking at me like i was some type of endangered species like some type of lost parcel or some shit so i navigate my way to the address of this house come to find out it's like this big ass mansion and i will say one thing anthony was not lying there was hella hoes there and they had no self-control i just want to put an f in the chat for the fathers of these young ladies because the things that they was doing to us you just can't be taught like it clearly it came from experience make you want to sing a kanye song backwards but unfortunately there's only so much ass that a man can take before he gets tired kind of like a buffet you know there's only so much you can eat before you get full so i was like okay i'm gonna call it a night and i'm gonna see y'all soon i leave the party so i'm walking back to the train station to try to catch the last train and this is where the shit goes down i couldn't have been walking for more than like five minutes i'm walking on the sidewalk i see this police cruiser pass me on the opposite side of the road i lock eyes with him he locks eyes with me in that split second i knew that i fucked up it's over he loops back around turns on his police lights and parks up right next to me bro i haven't done anything wrong at all but like i'm just like shit there's just something about how he pulled up on me that made me feel nervous he gets out of his car i'm like can i help you officer and this is pretty much how it all went down where are you headed son uh home where's home uh you know like five ten minutes from around the uh i got uh you can pass that way. Uh huh. Can I see some identification, please? Oh, yes, sir. Uh. So, um, what's uh, what's your street name? What? Like, what's your street name? What do they call you on the street? Let's say I'm one of your homies. What do, what do I call you? Uh, my name, I guess. Uh, I I don't really have a street name, so. Uh huh. Where's your boy at? What? Where's your boy at? Where's he Where's he at? I'm sorry, officer. I, I don't understand. So typically when it comes to you blacks, you guys like to travel in groups. You guys are like a pack of wolves. So where's your boy at? Is he gonna come out from one of these bushes try to scare me? What's going on? Okay, um... I came here alone, sir, so there's no boy... Do you have any drugs on you? What's going on? Do you have any drugs on you? No. Do you have any weapons on you? No. How about contraband? Do you have any contraband on you at all? That's the same thing. Listen to me, chief. Don't get aggressive with me, okay? I'm just doing my job. This is my job here. We could have been done by now if you stopped with all this malarkey. But instead, you want to keep arguing semantics with me for no reason. What do you think this is? The Mari Show? Hold up. Wait a minute. Eventually, I decided to just put my foot down. I'm like, listen, officer, did I do anything wrong? Am I free to go? He's like, oh, yeah, you know, you, you can go if you want. So I start walking away, and it couldn't have been more than, like, 20 seconds, bro. <laughs> like three fucking squad cars just pull up right in front of me bro i put up my hands immediately bro i didn't question anything i just was not trying to die the officers get out the car they surround me they don't handcuff me they put like these zip tie things on me the nigga that's putting these zip ties on me keeps telling me to stop resisting even though i'm not resisting in any way like he's just saying that they sit me down on the curb i start sitting there saying to myself what the fuck like what the fuck did i do <laughs> to get myself in this situation bro. i was literally just existing bro and in the span of two minutes i'm in fucking zip ties <laughs> the officer comes up to me and he's like so here's the deal there's a robbery in the area at a local convenience store and you match the description in the back of my mind i'm sitting there thinking to myself okay this is bullshit i've been here for the past three hours i have not seen a single black person at all so i knew he was lying like, I knew he was lying. I'm not stupid, right? I know how cops work. Every month, they have to meet a quota. Pretty much a certain amount of arrests and tickets that they have to make in order to be eligible for a promotion. So that's exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to put something on me in order to meet a quota. They start mingling about what they can get me on. Like, literally right in front of me. Oh, yeah, you know, we might be able to get him on loitering. Actually, it might be easier to get him on public disturbance. Finally, they decided that they were going to get me on trespassing even though i was walking on the sidewalk this nigga tried to convince me 
that because I didn't live there, that I was trespassing. Around this time, the neighbors start seeing all of the commotion happening. So they start coming outside and just watching. They're all looking at me like I'm some type of criminal or some shit. I'm just trying to convince all of them that I'm not a drug dealer. I don't know why this is even happening to me. None of them really did anything though. They were all just watching. Man, stop playing with me, what? And it was at this time that I finally had enough. <laughs> How dare you ruin my night for no reason? How dare you try to incriminate me for no reason? How dare you try to lie on me and put something on me that is not true? I got up, broke the twist ties with my bare hands, looked at all three of the cops with a blistering stare. It was like using a leer in Pokemon. Their defense stats went low immediately. I'm like, what's up, nigga? You wanna, you wanna square up? You wanna deal with this shit? What's up? What you trying to do? You got knocked the fuck out. They got back in their car and they left. I never saw them again. Yeah. Okay, obviously that didn't happen. I'm a black person. They would have probably emptied out the whole clip on me on site. Eventually, one of the neighbors came outside his house. It was like an old white guy in like his 80s. This guy went up to the officers and he's like, what, like, what are you guys doing? They're like, sir, this gentleman was trespassing. If you could just go back in your home, please. He's like, no, he wasn't. They're like, yes, sir, he was. He's like, all right, buddy, I have cameras that are set up around my entire house that catch this entire street. This young man was literally just walking. He didn't do anything. I didn't even say anything, okay? I had my mouth shut the entire time. I was just watching this man in amazement. It's like he had zero fear at all he had this sort of demeanor where it was like i lived a long life and if it ends here i'm okay with that to make a long story short the cops eventually they just let me go the cops realize that this is a lawsuit waiting to happen they're not gonna win this they take these twist ties off of me and they leave yes, this old man invites me into his home he makes me tea i walked out of his house feeling like i survived one of those horror movies or some shit like against all the odds I survive. And that's why I thank that man to this day. Because without that man, I probably would have been somebody's bitch in jail. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate y'all for stopping by and watching this Captain's Chronicles once again. If you are one of these people that have still not hit that like button yet, man, why, why do you make this so difficult? Because you actually going to get me arrested this time. Like the video. Let's see if we can get another solid 5,000 likes on this video. If we can get 5,000 likes, I promise to get the next Captain's Chronicles out as soon as I possibly can. And if you have not subbed to the channel yet, man, what are you doing? Make sure you sub to the channel. Kick that notification bell, ladies and gentlemen. Here at the True Crew, we are big fans of free crack, soft pillows, and big ass titties. So if you like those things too, join the club. Okay, don't be shy. Hit that hit that sub button. And finally, if you can do me the biggest favor of all and hit that join button located at the bottom of this video. For $1.99 a month, you can feel good knowing that you actively support the channel and you get cool things like badges, emojis. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. You guys are the greatest. Where, where would I be without you guys, man? Make sure you follow the Instagram and Twitter. Links to all the social medias will be in the description. Please follow those, okay? I am lonely. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Hopefully I don't get arrested by that time. I want to give a big shout out to my true commandos this month. They are Master Shogi, Mercs Play Dirty, You Know J, Jazzy, and JVX. Better hope I don't see any of y'all in person because you will get kissed. Hit that join button, become a member, and join these legends today. Like Jonathan Dio, Brand, don't kill how many feel like Joe Star, Horse Star, PS1's be punk, I will buy my go-kart, Mario Kart. Pokemon Gold